My name is Naoki Tara, and I work in trombone design at Yamaha. My name is Eriko Muriyama, and I also work in the trombone design section. I am here to tell you about the features of the YBL830, a newly designed bass trombone from Yamaha. The YBL830 joins the popular Zeno tenor and tenor bass trombones. It was developed with the concept of improving response and sound. Let us look at the points where improvements have been made. First, we changed the bell. Rather than gold brass material, the YBL830 features a yellow brass bell for enhanced tonal projection. The receiver section of the slide uses a new two-piece design rather than the traditional one-piece design for improved response. Changing the material of the braces from nickel silver to brass has significantly opened the resistance and improved the sound. Whereas the slide crook material was changed from brass to nickel silver for better response. Here to tell us about the new features of the valve section is Naoki Tara from Product Development. Let us look how air will flow by changing the rotation direction. Rotating valves in this direction allows a smooth airflow to the F slide section. Reversing valve rotation means the rotor blocks off the flow of air, very noticeably affecting blowing performance. The direction of valve rotation is opposite on conventional trombones, which cuts off the airflow when changing valve use. Changing between valves on the YBL830 Zeno plays and sounds much smoother thanks to the new valve design. Improvements have also been made to the D-slide. The previous model, the YBL613H, has a narrower D-slide than F-slide. On the new Zeno, they have the same width. We have also removed one of the braces, giving the D-slide a freer response. The D-section slide has been lengthened, giving players greater possibilities for intonation adjustments. Depending on the performer, tones in the low range may become noticeably higher when blowing the D-slide. Having a short tuning slide during tuning limits the correction range. The new design extends the D-section tuning slide, thereby expanding the intonation correction range. The bass trombone is a heavy instrument. As such, the YBL830 is designed to make lever operation easier and for quicker action by adopting the same thumb rest as the Zeno trombones. This new bass trombone comes with a newly redesigned deluxe case. The case features an ABS contoured finish. It includes a shoulder strap and side handle that make carrying the instrument very convenient. This concludes discussion of the new Yamaha YBL830 bass trombone. After discovering the many interesting new features, we hope you will test the feel of this new model and try a few scales for yourself.
We have another new Zeno bass trombone, the YBL822G, which was designed in consultation with Douglas Yao of the Boston Symphony Orchestra. It is a successor to the YBL622 and was created to have a darker tonal quality and freer response. The main tuning slide was changed from yellow brass to gold brass to give the 822G a darker tonal quality. On the YBL622, you had to remove the D slide to remove water. For the YBL822G, a removable slide was added to the D slide, making it easier to remove water. The removable slide can also be used for tuning. A very noticeable change is the shape of the valve caps, which are lighter weight for quicker response. The YBL822G adopts the same two-piece receiver design as the YBL830, and the braces have been changed from nickel silver to brass. An adjustable thumb rest has been added to the first valve lever. The 822G Zeno features a Douglas Yao Signature Series mouthpiece. This new bass trombone comes with a newly redesigned deluxe case. The case features an ABS contoured finish. It includes a shoulder strap and side handle that make carrying the instrument very convenient. This concludes discussion of the new Yamaha YBL822G bass trombone. These two new models complete the Zeno series of tenor, tenor bass, and bass trombones. Let the Yamaha Zeno trombone series add greater richness and depth to your musical enjoyment. Let us now take a look at some of the unique design features of this model. The 822G Zeno offers a unique removable second valve section, making the instrument brighter and more responsive for pieces which don't require two valves. The designer, Eriko Murayama, will now describe the steps used for removing and installing the second valve section. It is designed so that screwdrivers or other tools are not required. First, turn and press down the screw on the second valve lever. This spring is then placed against this protrusion. Now remove the screw which attaches this spring. The screw holding the spring down is then removed. The lever can now be removed. Next, the screw attaching the D slide section is removed. The D slide section can now be removed. Please protect the instrument with a cloth to prevent damage.
Now insert this replacement slide. Please note that the longer slide goes in this slide. I will now describe the procedure for replacing the retainer ring on the second valve section. We begin by removing this replacement slide. Next, we insert the insertion part. This screw is then screwed back on. The lever is then put back into place. This screw is then inserted. Finally, the spring resting against this lever is disengaged. The procedure is completed by adjusting this thumb rest to the most comfortable position.